Three quarters of a century ago, the greatest generation stormed beaches, jumped out of planes, and willingly marched toward a likely death to free millions upon millions from tyranny. And tonight, 75 years later, we celebrate their bravery, their service, and their sacrifice. Good evening, I'm Mary Ellis Demler. And hello everyone, I'm Scott Levin. All these decades later, we need to remember the bravery of the heroes of D-Day because the debt that we owe them can never be repaid. And among the many ceremonies in the United States, there were 13 commemorating the men awarded the Medal of Honor during the Normandy campaign. Two of those were in Western New York. We get that story and the stories of the men they honored from Two On Your Side's Dave McKinley. Of the 13 Medal of Honor winners from the Normandy campaign, nearly one third of them, four to be precise, were from New York State. Half of those were Western New Yorkers. In Orleans County, Medina native John Butts received the Medal of Honor posthumously for bravery. A second lieutenant, he'd already served in Africa and Sicily prior to D-Day. As troops moved into France following the invasion, he was wounded on June 14th, again on the 16th, and refusing medical aid a week later, led an attack on a stubbornly defended hill. Shot once again, he then directed others to flank a pillbox while he alone made a frontal assault, drawing the fire to himself. He got within 10 yards of the enemy before he was finally and fatally cut down, but it allowed his comrades to take their objective. It was less than a month before his 22nd birthday. First buried in France, his remains were later reinterred at St. Mary's Cemetery in Medina. <laughs> The better known story is that of Charles de Glopper and bells tolled at two Grand Island churches in his honor, even though at one of them, Trinity Church, the bell tower wasn't functioning, so a group of worshipers improvised. We were gonna make sure that we honored those that were falling. That's very important to America to always acknowledge um, all of those in our armed forces. A private first class de Glopper was part of a battalion trying to secure a bridge which had been cut off from their comrades. As they were pinned down, he stood and began to fire in full view of the German defenders. Hit several times and bleeding profusely, he continued to fire his Browning automatic from his knees. And with the full attention of the enemy on him, it allowed the rest of his company to escape while at age 22, he sacrificed his own life. For his self-sacrificial actions, de Glopper posthumously received the Medal of Honor, the only member of the 82nd Airborne Division to be so honored in Normandy. Those were Medal of Honor winners, but the heroism shown by Western New Yorkers at D-Day and its aftermath is known far and wide. One might think of Gasport's Benjamin Van de Voort, awarded the Distinguished Service Cross for Valor 75 years ago and who was portrayed by John Wayne in the epic film The Longest Day. And of course, the Nyland brothers of Tonawanda, whose experience inspired the film Saving Private Ryan, perhaps the other of the best known D-Day productions. For many young people, they are just learning about D-Day after seeing the ceremonies today. It's something that we have to remember because just like we always hear, you're bound to relive it if we don't. Well, your chances of being asked, uh, asking a veteran of their personal experiences during World War II is, uh, dwindling. is short. Yeah, yeah it's dwindling. dwindling. Uh, I read uh, about nearly 400 World War II vets are going every day. Yeah. Uh, the average age is in the mid-90s now. Yeah. Right. Um, and those stories, and you know this as well first as hand. anyone. Yeah. That's right. Uh, it, it, you know, we're running out of time to hear the, the first hand. We saw so many on NBC this morning. It was just so moving to watch. That's right. Watch yeah, we're so grateful. As the daughter of a World War II veteran, mm -hmm. I heard those stories firsthand, and the world is grateful. And it was great today to see all of those special tributes, including yours. Thank oh. you, Dave.